Hey everyone, it's Mo Jax back in the DJ City UK lab today with a quick review of the Deck Saver range of products. Now, this is a fairly easy review for me to do because firstly, the product itself is very simple. They are polycarbonate covers designed to fit snugly on your DJ or studio equipment and keep it safe from dust and from moisture and from impact from above as well. So they're very strong. They're not brittle. They don't crack. You know, even a larger gentleman like myself can jump up and down on a deck saver and it's not going to break, which is really important if you're going to invest money in looking after your kit, you want something that's going to last. And yeah, they're durable as well. They will last you years and years. I know this because my first deck saver I bought was for my Novation Twitch. So this is pre Serato DJ. It's an itch controller and yeah, still on there now, protecting the faders and the knobs. And I used to carry it in just a record bag with the deck saver on it and it's still doing the job to this day. Fantastic. The DJM 700, I had used to have that and I had this cover for it. It's a 12 inch mixer cover. And that now has been on the Zone DB4 recently, looking after that, keeping that free of dust here in the lab. So I know this stuff lasts, you know, and it's not a commercial. We're never about that, which is why I got them to send us some new stuff that I hadn't tried before. So they sent us for the Rain 64. This is our choice of mixer here in the lab. And even with the 12 inch skins, magnetic skin on there, still the deck saver is a perfect fit and keeps it protected. We've got a lot of exposed brickwork here in the lab. So we do get a lot of dust buildup and I just know it's gonna keep this nice and fresh. They sent us the ones for the CDJ 2000 Nexuses as well. I've seen these around in UK venues loads, you know, because they are, that's the ideal situation for them. You know, very dusty, very moisture rich environments. You want something that's gonna keep that stuff protected when it's not in use. And so the deck savers are a perfect fit for those. They also sent one for the Control S8 from Native Instruments. That's a big controller, two screens on there you've got to look after and make sure you don't damage. So it's great to have that and not only for in your home studio, but also it will fit in various soft bags as well with the deck saver attached. So again, on the road, in the studio, gonna keep it safe for you. The product which I think is probably the best thing in their range is actually the turntable covers. And I hadn't played with these until they sent them to us to review. Um, the problem with the Technics covers is firstly, you know, the original ones that come with them, firstly, they are very brittle. You know, they're very easy to crack. I'm sure if you've owned any pair of Technics in your life, you've probably cracked at least one or two of these lids. And, you know, so that's not good, but also they have a big hump on them. Now, that's an issue if you're trying to use the turntables as a stand in a crowded booth. Now, firstly, you should never put anything, of course, on a turntable that doesn't have a, a, a lid on it. You know, that is just a crime and should be punishable by death, probably. I've seen all kinds of things put onto a naked turntable. I've seen laptops placed on it. I've seen CD wallets draped over the tone arm and stuff like that. And it's like, yeah, get out. But if you've got a lid on there, I think it's okay to use that space. Um, but the one with the hump, is a problem because if you've got a large controller, it's really tricky to get that fitted onto a turntable. The deck saver one is a lot taller. So you've got a bit more height on there and it means you've got a flat surface on the top there. So both sides of the deck are flat, it means you can put a controller or even something like a CDJ on top of the turntable. You're not gonna damage the turntable underneath and you've got a flat surface to work with. You could even have two of them either side of the mixer and run a big controller right on the top of the two. So from that point of view, they add an extra bit of practicality, which you don't get with the regular Technics covers. So I think, yeah, the turntable ones are probably my favorite product in their range, but they do them for small equipment, large equipment, all kinds of stuff. And as I say, it's just an easy recommend for me. You know, this is a product I've spent my own hard earned money on over the years. The newer stuff they've sent fits just as well as the old stuff I've bought in the past. They are, of course, a lot more expensive than, for example, getting an old t-shirt and putting that over your mixer but an old t-shirt will not prevent anything from damaging it when it happens like that. You know, it's just going to keep the dust off. And this is an extra level of protection, which you don't get with an old t-shirt. So I do think if you spent a lot of money on your kit, it's probably worth a few bucks extra invest in that protection for it and keep it safe. That's good stuff. Thank you very much for watching today. Make sure you subscribe for all our future tips, tricks, and product reviews. I'll see you soon.